Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I do, you know, car stuff, uh, wheelchair stuff, and uh, music. So I thought I'd show you guys a quick one. I got all my parts right here for my uh, rear end upgrade on the G8. And as a quick rundown for you guys don't know or haven't seen my uh, other videos, I have a 2009 G8. It's got a uh, six liter in it that's built, that I built, and it has an LS8 blower on it. it makes a uh, more than 800 at the wheels. I haven't dynoed it yet, but last year I dynoed a 742 at the wheels. But this is an upgrade that I think about doing. Um, basically what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna wait till my 292 uh, blows up uh, my stock rear end, because that's all that's stock on the car is um, the rear end and the rear uh, axles. So this is a, let me get a close up for you. 2014 Camaro SS rear axle carrier assembly. It had 38K on it. Uh, you know, it's still got the stock bushing, you know, stock bushing, and then over here, stock bushing. So, uh, all right, let's get back up. So there's my uh, carrier. These go for about $500, depending on how many miles, what condition. Uh, I got this one for a little less than that. I got a good deal, so I figured I'd get it. And then um, I got these uh, upgrades for it. This is the diff cover. So that's where that rear carrier is, right? Uh, let me zoom in. Right there. And this is made by Speedmaster. Comes with new bolts and a nice uh, upgraded, stronger rear cover. I believe it does need to be notched, like a little grinded out for the, the G8, but otherwise it does fit. And then there's my BMR bushing kit for, you know, where all those bushings gotta go. Comes with all three of them. It comes with two stickers. And uh, there's the part number for you guys that wanna know which, which one it is. Got this from the local Summit Racing. And then my uh, upgraded Differential carrier right here. This is a uh, Eaton Detroit True Track Detroit Locker. There is the part number. And uh, for you guys who haven't done the research yet, uh, I mean, I definitely recommend doing your research, but the Camaro is a 327 rear end. It is a great upgrade, uh, most people say, for the boosted G8s. If you're staying NA, they say to go to the 345, I think it is. But if you're gonna do the uh, you know, high boost, or I mean high horsepower uh, boosted build, uh, the 327 is better. And just uh, for you other guys that follow me, this is my old front wheel. This is my new one. And a little add-on at the end of this video for you people who stayed to watch it all. This is also another upgrade that I am doing soon. This is just a nine blade fan. There's the part number. So uh, on the stock G8 radiator, there are a high and a low fan. Well, the high is nine blade and the low is a seven blade. So if you just get a nine blade and replace it with the low, you got a uh, you know better overall cooling efficiency because they're both going to be running pretty much a high blade but uh all right guys hope this helped you out uh stay tuned for when i have it put in the car you know i already have a built transmission a built drive shaft check out my other videos if uh, this helped you out give me a like give me a subscribe i got a lot more car stuff coming got a lot more wheelchair stuff coming and a lot more music coming guys all right